Switching gears to Indonesia, one of the biggest investment projects in the country is a high-speed railway between the capital Jakarta and Bandan in West Java. Now, the project is set to be completed as soon as 2022. And as our reporter Silken Aluwala reports, there are expectations that China's first overseas high-speed rail project will help to transform infrastructure in Indonesia. Indonesians will soon experience travel on the fast lane. The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is considered a mega infrastructure project between China and Indonesia. China and Indonesia are equally cooperating financially towards this project. Through this financial cooperation, we can achieve a win-win solution. We are here to share successes and the risks of this project. The $6 billion investment is already bringing plenty of economic benefits to Indonesia on a micro and macro level. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the team were able to employ at least 13,000 people. They're expected to open up even more job opportunities in the future, employing more than 30,000 locals across the region. We officially began construction in 2018. Currently, our progress stands at 70% for the overall project. We are now building stations, which is 35% complete. We are also preparing power systems, including signaling, telecommunication and power supply. The railway will cut travel time between Jakarta to Bandung, West Java, to 45 minutes, faster than the usual three hours by road. This project marks a new era in Indonesia's public transportation system. Commuting in one of the world's most congested cities can be very stressful and time-consuming. The high-speed railway is exactly what Indonesia needs to improve and modernize its transportation industry. Experts say the project is not only going to change the hard structure of transportation in Indonesia, but it will also transform social behaviors. In the hub or the centers that is, uh, this high-speed railway is uh, going to stop, it's also going to actually attract you know, new um, business centers or uh, business transit centers. I think it's more uh, going to actually it changes how, how, how socially people interact and behave because of the high-speed railway. So it will also create more new um, social and uh, economic uh, centers uh, in between the lines that the high-speed railway is going to move forward. This railway could be the solution to Indonesia's urban mobility needs, where the main aim is to reduce travel time by improving public transport. Silkina Aluwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.